Hello friends, welcome to Therm Science. In this lecture, we will discuss a problem on boiler. That is, how to find out boiler efficiency and equivalent evaporation ratio. In last modules, that is module 1, module 2, module 3, we have discussed what is meant by actual evaporation ratio and the equivalent evaporation ratio. Also, we have discussed difference between actual evaporation ratio and equivalent evaporation ratio. Also, we have discussed how to find out boiler efficiency in direct method and the merits and demerits of the direct method boiler efficiency evaluation. In this lecture, we will discuss a problem how to find out factor of evaporation, equivalent evaporation and efficiency of the boiler for a given parameters. Now, we will discuss the problem. The following readings were obtained during a trial of 6 hours duration. So, the entire parameters have taken 6 hours duration. The mean steam pressure is 12 bar. Mass of steam generated 40,000 kg per 6 hour. Mean dryness fraction is 0.85. Mean feed water temperature that is given to boiler 30 degrees Celsius. The coal used in boiler 4000 kg. The calorific value of that coal is 33,400 kilojoule. Per kg. We need to find out factor of evaporation, equivalent evaporation and efficiency of the boiler. First we will discuss about boiler. To run the boiler we have to supply the fuel that may be coal whatever it is. For this problem we have taken coal is the fuel. We are using the coal 4000 kg for 6 hour and the color of the coal 33400 kilojoule per kg of coal. If we multiply this both we get how much amount of heat given to the boiler. Boiler generates the steam. The mass of fuel used let's take MF and steam generator let's take MS. We have to supply water to generate the steam. The amount of water is supplied is equal to the amount of steam that is generated. Now we will discuss factor of evaporation as we seen in model 1. Let's take example, we are entering under degree Celsius of water, 1 bar pressure. We call saturated liquid, where saturated liquid is converted into saturated vapor that is under degree Celsius, 1 bar pressure. To convert under degree Celsius water to under degree Celsius steam, it requires 2257 kilojoule of energy. 2257 kilojoule of energy. Or we can take it absorb 2257 kilojoule of energy during the phase change from under degree Celsius liquid to under degree Celsius vapor. So what happened? Here the enthalpy of steam, let's take HS. Here the enthalpy of steam, let's take HF. F means fluid. H means steam. So, our Hs minus Hf that is nothing but 2 to 5 7. So, for this case, this both will get cancelled. The answer will become 1. This one we call factor of evaporation. Answer is 1. For example, if the outlet steam condition is different than under degree Celsius. For example, you take 250, 300. Then the factor will be greater than 1. If the pressure is different also, this will be greater than 1. But for same pressure, if it is less steam, the factor will be less than 1. Now, we will look at what about the factor of evaporation. That is F is equal to Hs minus Hf divided by 2257. Now, we need to find out what is the outlet steam condition. That is 12 bar pressure. They are given, it is a wet steam, dry fraction 0.85. When it's less steam, we know how to find out the enthalpy that is H is equal to HF plus X HFG. We need to find out for 12 bar what is the HF and HFG. Here we have 12 bar. For 12 bar, HF is 798.4 and the HFG 1984.3. Let's take those readings. Now, 
use the formula h is equal to hf plus x hfg substitute these values 798.4 plus 0.85 into 1984.3 and find out the outlet enthalpy of the steam that is 2485.05 kJ per kg similarly we need to find out what is the the entry enthalpy of the boiler we always take saturated liquid the temperature they have mentioned that is 30 degrees celsius enters in steam table for 30 degrees celsius we know that we have 30 degrees celsius here this is table 1 there is table 2 temperature hf is 125.8 let's take that value 125.8 kJ per kg now substitute this value in factor of operation that is 2485.05 minus 125.8 divided by 2257 the answer is 1.045 so it is greater than 0.045 times then the the actual evaporation now we will discuss equivalent evaporation we know that before discussing equivalent evaporation we need to know what is the actual evaporation the actual evaporation is the ratio between the mass of steam generated divided by mass of fuel used that is ms divided by mf as what we have discussed in model 1 mass of steam generated given costing 40000 kg per 6 hour and fuel used 4000 kg per 6 hour substitute we get the actual evaporation is 10 kg of steam per kg of fuel as i told you this will not give that much effective answer for the boiler we have discussed in model 1 because the outlet steam condition is differs it may be wet steam dry steam superheated steam so according to that the ms value will vary so to find out the equivalent evaporation that is denoted as me that is the same mass of steam generated divided by mass of fuel used also we multiply the factor of evaporation with that because if it is greater than 1 we can multiply the ms will get greater than 1 less than 1 again this will be lesser value depends upon this value this ms will vary so this equation can be written as ma into f this is actual evaporation this is factor of evaporation substitute we got ma is 10 and factor of evaporation is 1.045 our equivalent evaporation is 10.45 kg of steam per kg of fuel so you can check the difference between actual evaporation and the equivalent evaporation in the equivalent evaporation we have greater than actual evaporation always next we will discuss about boiler efficiency that is output divided by input output is mass of steam generated input is heat supplied to the boiler that is output mass of steam generated into the enthalpy difference this hs minus hf and mass of fuel used we know 4000 and class week value we know 33400 this equation can be written as ma this this we can take ma h minus hf divided by cv ma we know just substitute 10 into 2485.05 minus 125.7 divided by 33400 the efficiency becomes 70.06 percentage so this is without considering the losses we have considered the only the input output amount of fuel supplied if we consider the many losses then the efficiency will become very lower in next lecture we will discuss another problem with the different parameters if you like this video kindly like share to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel if you have any doubt kindly give in comment box i will reply to you thank you